Ah, oh, great. Bow Ball is filming another Spider-Man review. Just what I need. Well, at least he's got other Spider-Man figures around, so I don't have to do this alone. Right, guys? 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 Hello, guys? Other uh, Spider-Man figures. Oh, yeah, he's in Florida. Not, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, away from his collection. Hmm. Dang it. Crap. What up YouTube, Bob Ball here, proud to bring you a brand new review. This time, the Marvel Universe Spider-Man. This is the most recent Spider-Man figure from Series 4, Figure 7, and I am really glad I could bring this review to you guys. I normally don't actually buy the normal Spider-Man figures in Marvel Universe because I feel like the scaling is a little too off. I like the Hasbro Spider-Man line where they're a little smaller, so they fit in scale a little more. But, um... Yeah, I saw this figure, I really wanted it, so I picked it up, and I'm glad I did. Um, I, there are very few complaints I actually have with the figure, it's just a really well done figure. So there you go, we'll take a quick look at it. So we'll put it back and uh, talk about the packaging. This packaging on this figure is standard, but still nice. We've got a very nice picture of Spider-Man. And then on the back we have a small bio, you can take a look at it right there, pause it and read it. Other figures in the line, including Craven and Beta Ray Bill. These are two figures, especially Craven, I would like to pick up. I have Hulk already. And then you got a nice picture of the figure, along with Rocket Raccoon. Collect them all. That, that's awesome. I, I love Rocket Raccoon. So, yeah. Anyway, so there is the packaging. It's standard, but still nice. And it also comes with a collectible card. Um, my opinion of of this has not changed I mean it's just cheap cardboard with I will admit a nice uh, piece of art on it but if they were to do this instead of include the uh, figure stands they include the the uh, old se top secret files that had the um the training card with a picture of him and on the back it had his statistics that was just so cool but you know this is what we're getting so yeah my opinion on it has not changed so we'll just bring in the camera and talk about the actual figure. Now, I do apologize, since I'm in Florida, I actually don't have any of my figures with me, so I can't do a proper comparison. But I can say that um, if you look up images of this figure, and I have seen other reviews of this figure, uh, compared to other figures, he does fit very well in scale. And he is slightly smaller than, a, uh, than the Hasbro Spider-Man toy line straighten his joints out and they do share a lot of in common in terms of sculpt rise but uh, so here's the figure here's the figure drunk uh, anyway there we go here's the figure uh, his accessory is actually very nice now he doesn't include a actual wet accessory like the normal Spiderman figures do he instead includes his l own little web backpack which I must say is actually Im very impressive I'm, I'm more impressed with this than I thought it would be it is a soft plastic but you can see it does have some nice webbing detail just zoom in I apologize for no pictures this time but I don't have my camera with me but uh, so here is the webbing and you got a sleeve some shoes and a camera would have been nice if the camera was removable, just so like we can have a Spider-Man holding a camera. But that's just a minor nitpick. I mean, that's very minor. So you can take a look. Uh, it looks very nice. I'm really happy how it turned out. I actually liked it a lot more than I thought I would. Now onto the actual figure itself. The figure itself is very nice. I love the bright, vibrant colors on this thing. I mean, the red is a very nice bright red. The blue is a very nice uh, bright blue. Uh, there aren't really any shading on this figure except for the head. The head has a lot of sh uh, uh, d definitely a lot darker colors on the head. I love the giant eyes how they did that. It just looks great. Alright, so articulation on this figure is f standard from Marvel Universe, but still really nice. So you got a ball jointed head, which uh, doesn't really let him look up and down a little, but does let him look left and right. I do wish they would have done a ball and cut in there, I mean a uh, swivel and cut, so you have your left and right, and then you can 
have the bend so you can lift up. But um, that, I am glad they actually are starting to do that with more than newer figures. But uh, you do have full rotation in the arms. Uh, they are a little stiff on mine, but they do go 360. Uh, they also go out. Again, just a little stiff on my figure. Your figure probably won't have that. You can see it is a little stiff on this figure. But he does have a bicep swivel, which I'm not a big fan of. I do prefer elbow swivels. But he does have an elbow. And then he has a rotation. Not at, right at the wrist, but right here. You can see that. Um, kind of wish... It, I understand why they did this, because it's very thin there, and that could easily break... But it does kind of break up the webbing pattern. Along with this red dot, I wish they paint. I mean, on this side, it's not a big deal. But I wish they painted that, that uh, side blue. Uh, he does have a ball joint torso joint in his chest. So you can have a full expression like ab crunches and turns. He has a waist joint, which does look very unnatural as most waist joints will look. And then he has ball joint hips, which I'm not a huge fan of. I prefer the Iron Man 2 hip joint system. Uh, when they do get stuck, it is a pain to use, but when they're loose, which is the majority of the time, you have a great range of motion, and you can actually pull off the Spider-Man pose of his legs like this much easier. Then he has a double-jointed knee, which is always nice to see, and I really like how well this just turned out, because he's Spider-Man. He needs a double-jointed knee for his acrobatic poses. The ankles are um, standard. They do rotate and then they bend slightly. They don't pivot, which I do wish they did, but um, they don't. <laughs> Alright, so there you go. That's articulation of the figure. And the articulation on the figure is Marvel Universe standard, and it just turned out really nice, as usual. I mean, this, this articulation is perfect for Spider-Man. Now, in terms of detailing, his uh, hand is in the classic Spider-Man uh, web shooting pose which is very nice. I did like how that turned out. The uh, it, It's standard for Spider-Man to have this hand. I mean, I only have one figure of Spider-Man that has this hand uh, not on it, which is kind of a fail, because Spider-Man needs this, unless it's the Ben Wiley Spider-Man. That one actually got a pass with just having the fist. But uh, his other hand is a grabbing things hand, and that is for holding his accessories. So you can pop it onto his hand, can hold it which uh, very secure uh, which is very nice you can also uh, loop it through the arm and then it, it is a tight fit but you can force it over the head and you can wear it like a backpack which is very nice I, I really like that touch and even then you can uh, angle the arm and the hand just right and he can't actually hold it uh, just take a little bit of fiddling but after you get it, and when you get it, it, it looks really cool. You can actually have the backpack on him. There you go. And him holding it, which is very cool. I really like that. Not sure if that was specifically engineered into the figure, but it definitely uh, worked out and is very nice. But um, detail on this figure is phenomenal. I mean, the only real thing that bugs me is this red pin right here. And the fact that when you rotate it here, it kind of breaks up the webs. But I really don't mind that too much because if they were to put it right here, it would still break up the web pattern and actually make the figure easy to break. So I am glad that they did put it up there. And it's just a minor nitpick. And again, with the uh, this waist, it does break up the effect of this web and does make it look very unnatural. I mean, that looks very painful. I mean, what kind of diet is this guy on where he can do that? Spider DNA or not, he... No human should do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so there's the Spider-Man figure. Again, I do apologize for not being able to ha have a good comparison of the figure. But I think if you look up other reviews or images of this figure online, you'll be able to find some really uh, good scaling with the figure. And that's really it. That's all my... All I have to say on the figure, that's my entire opinion of the figure. And I hope you guys enjoyed the review, I enjoyed filming it. And this is just a really fun figure. Now, like I've said in the beginning of my review, and when I review Spider-Man figures, is that I don't like to buy the Marvel Universe version of Spider-Man. Because I like to buy the Hasbro Spider-Man one. Not the Amazing Spider-Man toy line, but from the original Spider-Man toy line that they had a while ago. Um... I don't know, it really died out because of the Amazing Spider-Man came and uh, 
really did buy up a lot of uh, store stock shelf. Uh, I believe that would be the proper word. <laughs> but um, so it is more difficult to find those figures now, which does stink because they had a lot of good figures. I mean, a lot of collectors got into the line for the villains, and I have reviewed some of the villains. So if you want to see that, go to my channel, check it out. But I do prefer their Spider-Man a little more, only because he's a little smaller and he fits better in scale with your figure. And there you go. This is my conclusion on the figures. On the figure, it is just phenomenal figure. I highly recommend this to Spider-Man fans. And it is a little bigger than the Hasbro Spider-Man figures. So you can use this as an adult Spider-Man. As I like to use the Hasbro Spider-Man from the Hasbro Spider-Man toy line as a teenager Spider-Man. And I just hope you guys enjoyed the view. This is a phenomenal figure and I recommend picking him up. If you have not gotten a Spider-Man figure yet, this would be a great one to add for your Marvel Universe 3 3 quarter inch scale. And uh, definitely a picker upper if you don't have a Spider-Man. Or you just really like the, the uh, either the backpack or the actual paint job. Because the paint job is very nice, very classic Spider-Man. I really do like this. And uh, yeah, so just let me know what you guys think of the figure. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you own it? Stuff like that. I really do enjoy your feedback. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links should be in the description. Uh, and if you actually have followed me on Twitter, then you would have known that I picked this guy up. So I hope you guys enjoyed the view. Until then, see you guys later. Adios.